So the Kansas City Chiefs are signing Marquez Valdez Scantling to a three year, $30 million deal. And this is an A offseason for the Chiefs. Maybe even an A plus. When I first broke down the Tyree Hill trade reaction, I kind of just thought, I was talking about the thought presses for both teams, but I didn't really get into how much of a W this is for the Chiefs. In order to have a, a dynasty, which you have Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, locked up for a while, you've got to be thinking, you've already won one ring, gone to a couple championships, you're thinking, you want to turn this into some type, of, some type of dynasty. You want to win at least a couple more rings. And if you want to do that, if you want to win long term, if you want to be winning a decade from now at the top top level, you can't just hold on to the players in this, the same scheme, the same recipe that you use in the day one and since day one for the first championship and the chiefs are maneuvering beautifully this offseason if you look at the afc as you just saw marquez valdez scanley they took it from the packers the nfc all they have left you have aaron Rodgers on the packers okay and then you have the rams buccaneers who the heck else is there in the nfc but in the afc what the chiefs have to deal with in their own division russell wilson justin herbert Derek Carr and Devontae Adams. Then you've got Joe Burrow to put, deal with in the playoffs. Even uh, Tannehill, Derek Henry. Tannehill's kind of trash, but Derek Henry. Uh, you got a whole slew. Josh Allen, you got a whole slew of talent in the AFC. They were talking about, after the Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, that this could be the next big rivalry. But there's a whole slew of other guys in the AFC. So I think this offseason for the Chiefs is an acknowledgement that the Patrick Mahomes thing by itself is no longer special. Patrick Mahomes still might be the best quarterback in the league, but it's not when he first came onto the scene his first couple years. It was Patrick Mahomes, and then it was everybody else. You could throw Lamar Jackson in there for his MVP year, but there was still nobody was taking Josh Lamar Jackson long-term over Patrick Mahomes. But now, people still probably take Mahomes as number one, but there you have to acknowledge that it's close. And for the Chiefs, they're acknowledging with their moves this offseason that it's time to rebuild the team a little bit differently. And it's not just going to be Mahomes, Tyree Kill, and Travis Kelsey. You've got Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow. Like I said, it's just not going to be special enough. So what they're doing, they got rid of Tyree Kill, who they were going to have to pay big money and starting to be a little bit older. And they brought back more about the same level of price uh, in terms of draft picks that... The Broncos had to give up for Russell Wilson. W trade there. And now here, in speci specifically with this one, Marquez Valdez-Scanling. They're throwing him in with Juju Smith-Schuster and Travis Kelsey. They're going to, they've still got McCole Hardman. They're still going to have those speedsters that they're going to be able to pick up. They might not have the same special guy in Tyree Kill, but they can get a little bit of that. And an ability to rebuild their defense and offensively say, all right. We have Mahomes. We're going to be good offensively. But we just need a, some type of ability to be able to slow down these other quarterbacks because Mahomes isn't just stratospheres above these other guys, even in, the own, in their own division. It's at the point where they need to rebuild the rest of the team. And instead of you know trying to just go for superstars now, they are saying, all right, let's see if we can... As we saw, we've seen with other teams, they've got to reach, uh, change how they're doing things. And they're going to, let's get solid receivers, possession receivers, and maybe start to play a little bit differently here. Marquez Valdez-Scanling, a very good receiver, number two for Aaron Rodgers. Juju Smith-Schuster, a solid guy for the Steelers. He can block. He can do all the little stuff. When he's not TikToking, he's a great guy, seems like. And you still have Travis Kelsey star at tight end. I love what they're doing this offseason. I like this move as well. I think that I'd rather have t all these draft picks, Marquez Valdez, Scanling, and Juju Smith-Schuster than just Tyreek Hill alone. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.